zoning was all passed uh, on some of these developments, and I'm not sure if you're talking about a specific one or a hypothetical one. A specific one. A specific, specific Already one. approved. But was that, that wasn't that was that part of a COA? Uh, uh, part of the overlay, is, which was passed at town meeting. So if it's one in the zoning. I don't I don't know how the uh, I don't know how the committees can turn it down at that time. Okay. And Laura, 30 units per acre along 129 versus in, in, in relative in, in terms of our vision of the town, is that is that a vision that you might have? Um. I, I think that it's hard to envision 30 units per acre um, as you're um, looking at across the street at um, single family homes. Um, I think that is a, the way that was set up um, several years ago, uh, a couple of years ago, was that it was supposed to be a buffer zone. Um, so I would think that not only would 38 uh, that be. Um, Quite a uh, burden on the the, ne the nearest residents, but I also think that the amount of residents coming into the town are going to put a lot of burden on the taxes that that that, that many more residents um, in terms of the schools, the um, emergency services, um, water, sewerage, um, and that uh, that's really not what I was looking for in, in terms of. I wanted to live. Okay. Chelmsford does not have to become a city to pay for its bills. Okay, thank you.